I'm sorry for the mess in here. Um, I've been... <clears throat> I've been editing yesterday's vlog at Megan's and Joshua's and Reese's place. Fortunately, I was able to wa like wash all of my clothes at their place, which is nice. However, the dryer didn't properly work. And that's why my room is such a mess right now. Anyhow, you know what's today? Check out these. I bought like, I think like, I bought like, like 10 boxes of these at Costco yesterday without even knowing it. It looked much smaller. Mm. Today's the first day of classes for me. I have my first class in like one hour-ish. I'm a little early, but better too early than too late, right? Let's do a quick outfit check. I got my Brooks, then I got a jeans. And then I got a button-up shirt and a pullover. I kind of wanted to go with a suit with suit pants But because I wasn't able to wash my stuff before yesterday um, All of my shirts are wrinkled and I I got to iron them today So that's it I'm ready to go. I think we'll leave soon class number one I'm sorry I didn't film in there I will probably film in there like next time I have math class it was great let me quickly get to my place and then I'll you know I'll let you know how it was how was your first class as a German student at a Canadian University my first class was math and I have to admit that it actually was quite fun the teacher is so nice like generally super Someone's angry there. The teacher is super nice, like it's really, really nice. The only challenge though is like he has a strong French accent, which makes it challenging, but like such a nice guy. Um, we went through a lot of stuff today. It was kind of an introductory sequence. He started right away and just got into it. It was fast pace. And the, like, the biggest challenge for me as a German was the kind of like, subject specific terms right i knew that i knew the word in german but i didn't know the english word so i think that's for me that's going to be the biggest challenge for me to acquire the vocabulary related to that subject especially in math right but apart from that it was smooth sailing all the time through like it was really comprehensive and stuff you know you put everything on the board so you just had to copy it um so yeah it was really nice two tips um, two tips for starting class and like you can do that in Germany too like it doesn't really matter which country you're in I got into the first row do eye contact with the teacher talk to them answer questions like it's such an easy way to get have a make a good impression like I raised my hands like the first like three four questions and after that he's like well I won't choose you I, I'll pick another one first so that means like right away I set the impression that I'm like interested in the subject, that I am knowledgeable and that's like a really easy way to yeah, just start with a good impression. So these are kind of two tips and now I got to work on the computer and afterwards I got something exciting planned. I'd like to talk to someone with regards to film production programs, so like probably fine arts. How, how are you doing today? <laughs> Bye, take care. <laughs> there you go. That was Amanda, such a lovely person. Um, we were just chatting about my, basically the, my, my class choice and stuff because there's some difficulty with that. Um, I'm not I'm not just enrolled in one program, I'm doing a major in business, uh, I'm doing a major in film production and a minor in business studies and there's certain requirements for each kind of category.
wasn't really allowed to take the camera, but I can take my phone and if I wanted to show you the cafeteria. See, that's my lunch today, veggie burger, salad. And this is basically what it looks like here. It's pretty empty right now. And the only thing I know is that my class is somewhere in this building and it's huge. No idea where I have to go, man. So let's, let's do the same thing again. Sorry, it's probably going to be a lot of talking today, but I kind of want to share my experience with you. Um, I Unfortunately, I do not have the reference. Sorry, the light probably sucks. This one's better, right? Unfortunately, I do not have the reference of like actually attending a European university. So I can't really talk a lot about that. But just being here is like really, really great. As I've said, like it was like a proper movie theater there. We were watching like we were switching between like the you know kind of old um, aspect ratios and the modern like 16 by 9 and like they could actually they they had like electric curtains and they would like cover up the white parts of of the projector screen um, when we were watching like older movies for example so that was insane but um, I met like some really awesome people there quickly talked to the prof after class it was really really cool um, yeah and it was like a four hour class but it didn't feel like it like it went by in like a second so um, I really really look forward to this class never mind the computer we are leaving Alice and I will meet up with the president of the Concordia space let me check program I think that's that's his position Yes, with the Space Concordia president, um, with regards to some future projects, potential projects. Anyhow, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I basically got to go back where I came from. Well, that the shoes usually take a little while to get comfortable once you wore them a little bit. A little bit. They're the most comfortable shoes you've ever worn. I'm the current president of Space Concordia. I also do a lot of the software for the satellite. We have about four divisions, so robotics, uh, spacecraft, rocketry, and uh, space health. And then we have another one called Special Projects that does like uh, research uh, little projects, like, like a drill. Uh, the finance, like all the like the, the the making sure that we're getting funding, like sponsorships. So there's like a really really large team, uh, multidisciplinary team. Like we we try to basically cover like all that you can think of. It's basically like a mini company. It's essentially a mini company that we're trying to. See, that's what I love about being in a city. I just like met up with with a team that builds like the fastest or like strongest um, student rocket in the world. 
just like that and those those opportunities they don't occur in the countryside you got to be in a vibrant place to to get these and all of the folks over there seemed so nice Um, meeting with Joshua and Megan next. We'll go to the um, we'll go to the dollar store, <laughs> trying to get some of the things that I wasn't able to um, that I wasn't able to get at Costco yesterday. And then I still got to sit down and do, do some office work before we'll meet up with the film production crew tonight. It's crazy, man. I mean, it's kind of a rush today and. Got some snacks just for the go to get some energy. I think they're just coming there. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. That looks like Good nice to see you. Uh... How are you? Good, how are hey. your classes? Hey man. Okay, so you going? Not bad, really long. Black now, that's So we are in Dollarama right now trying to get some stuff for my room all of the things that i did not get um, in costco I'm going to take this one for the shoes and i got this one for pants That's for new clothes, no? yeah it's ex i think it's like exactly the same hmm? no, I'm not. Okay. So yeah, with that successful mission, I'm kind of ending today. Um, I'll have dinner now and after that I'll meet up with some future fellow film producers and cameramen and just like other people from the film production program, which is going to be super exciting. But I guess I'm ending the vlog right here um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you could take something out of this video and let me know in the comments what you want to see, what I should show you from like the university, what you want to see me do. If you have any suggestions for like activities and stuff, just let me know. Take care and stay on top of things. Bye.